The Minister of Finance, Zoran Stavrisky, congratulated himself and presumably Macedonia for an increase in industrial production of 8.6% in September 2015. This increase is compared to last year's September 2014. It is called a year-on-year -year increase. 8.6% is a very impressive figure, but if you look at the components, it looks even more impressive. Manufacturing activity in Macedonia has increased by 11.2%. Food-related manufacturing, food-related processing, has increased by 20%, although this might be explained by the fact that food prices have been rising globally, dramatically, over the past six weeks. Still, these are nice figures, impressive figures, until you remember that these figures mean absolutely nothing. Why do they mean nothing? Because industrial production figures go up and down like a yo-yo. A single month's figure is totally insignificant. One needs to look at a much bigger period, for example, one year. Here are some figures for the last few months. In April 2015, industrial production went down 1%. In May 2015, industrial production went down 5%. In June 2015, industrial production went up 6.5%. In July 2015, industrial production went down 3%. In August 2015, industrial production went up 13%. So you see, minus 5, plus 6, minus 2, plus 13, plus 7, minus 3, these figures are completely all over the place. It is, of course, not conceivable that the entire economy of manufacturing goes up and down so strongly within the space of 30 days each time. So this is, this is why we look at the figures over a much longer period. And over a much longer period, the figures are much less impressive. For example, for the last 12 months, industrial production has been up, but by a mere 2.5%. If you take into account that prices for some of Macedonia's foodstuffs and commodities have gone up dramatically globally, this rise doesn't look too impressive. The thing is that since Nikola Gruevski came to power, and until today, industrial production has actually stagnated. The average growth of industrial production since 2006 has been 1.1% a year until now. That is a very low rate of increase, which usually reflects random fluctuations in global prices and so on and so forth, rather than any underlying trends in the economy. Compared to other emerging economies, this is one-seventh the typical growth of an emerging economy. Let me explain. Let me put it differently. The average of other emerging economies, which Macedonia is one, is seven times higher than it is in Macedonia. Now, when we look at the number of employees in the manufacturing and food processing and so on sectors, we see that the average number of employees increased exactly by the same amount over that period, 1.2%. So it makes sense. Industrial production in Macedonia is growing, but very, very slowly, actually much more slowly than Germany. Now, to another issue. The big pride and joy of the government's announcement was the jump in manufacturing activity of 11.2%. We should be proud of it, shouldn't we? No, we should not. Why shouldn't we be proud of such an increase? Why shouldn't we rejoice? Because manufacturers all over Macedonia are producing more, but they are selling much less. Consequently, their stocks, their inventories, the, the goods that they produce and cannot sell, what they are holding in their warehouses and accumulating year over year, 
This is in a state of utter explosion. In, in the years 2013 and 2014, manufacturers in Macedonia added to their goods in the warehouses 52 billion, that's 52,000 million Macedonian denars. I repeat, the increase in stocks, in inventories, held in warehouses, not sold, goods manufactured and not sold, has increased by 52 billion Macedonian dinars in two years alone. Now this is a terrifying figure because it is three times the average in the preceding 12 years. In the preceding 12 years, the average was about 18 billion. In two years alone, there was an accumulation of 52 billion. Not only that, the inventories held today by companies, the goods that they produced and were unable to sell, has increased five times over the same inventories in 2003. Today, companies in Macedonia have five times more inventory than in the year 2003. Yes, manufacturing is up, but no one is buying anything. Now, this is a very, very, this is very bad news. Inventories usually predict recession. As inventories grow, as stocks increase, as warehouse fill up, as people stop buying, as consumption declines or is stabilized, the end result is usually a recession. Inventories in, in Macedonia are at an all-time high. So, how do companies survive when they produce and do not sell? What do they do? Well, very simple. They stop paying salaries. They don't pay their employees. And they stop paying each other. They don't pay their suppliers. Intercompany debt in Macedonia, the debt that companies owe to each other, is among the highest in the world. And it is an all-time high right now, historically, within this country. Intercompany debt is a time bomb. It is much, a much more important indicator of economic health than, for example, external debt. The money owed to foreigners is an important indicator of economic health, but much less important than the money that domestic firms owe to each other. If you don't pay your suppliers and if you don't pay your workers, you can continue to survive. You will survive as a firm. The economy will not.